we we've been going for an hour. I don't know if you want to do the the uh, sends. We can do it quickly, or you want to go more time. It's up to you. They stink. So here, yeah. let me just get this yeah, up. Yeah, let's, so yeah. they're currently twenty fifth. Um, they're <laughs> they're they're less than five hundred. I can't even see that the Gary Batman is five hundred. I just let me see if I can get their scoring up here because I just don't understand why. So Kachuk's doing why good. they're so loud. Is the that what you're wondering? On, just yeah, I just have some respect. Some are Pierre. <laughs> I, I'm just looking at them and I'm like, guys. I don't care about John Lucini, Luciani. Like, how's how's my guy Forsberg doing? Sorry, Cam Talbot. Cam Talbot's giving you a nine oh six, guys. Come on, give him a hit. Wait, where's it? You know what? First off, actually, more importantly, how's Mark Andre Fleury? I gotta go look this up. I, I just think, think he, you're a bit of a joke. He hasn't played. Yeah, I think no, a bit of a joke is all. It's. Stay in your it's, lane, Ottawa. It's, it, yeah. Dude, those guys are so loud. I hate those guys so much with a passion. Um, they uh, they keep it's like uh, I just don't understand what the issue is. You know what I mean? Like coaching. I'm just, coaching. Okay. Yeah. When so, do we blame DJ Smith? I think they've been blaming DJ Smith for quite some time. It's like he the fans uh, have. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the fans have been blaming DJ Smith for quite some time, and I just don't know. That's at this point. Like I, I look at their roster and I say, okay, what do they need to actually improve on? Do they defense? And then the question is, okay, you add Jacob Cherry. Let's let's assume. On the high, I love how as soon as as soon as everyone was like, "Oh, Eric Carlson might be available," boom, everyone said Ottawa. Like, yeah, yeah. he's not coming back to Ottawa for three first round picks. First off, um, but I just I don't see how adding one piece like Jacob Chickering is going to change the fortunes of this change the fortunes of the franchise. Like, I think it's a bit different in the sense of Edmonton, because all they literally need to do in Edmonton is just hold the fort a little bit. They have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl who are going to outscore everyone themselves. They will outscore everyone themselves. They literally need someone to just take, let's take a deep breath and then, and then let's go. And so that's who they they need who the uh, senators you know who a Hall of... I think he's in the Hall of Fame now. An Olympic-level defenseman who his advanced numbers always said he wasn't a positive, he wasn't a negative. He was always even. Nothing happened when he was on the ice, and that's exactly who? what they need. Jay Bellmeister. The the Senators or the Oilers? Or well, both? More so yeah, the man. Oilers. Yeah. They need Jay Bellmeister. That's the type of like, player they need. But I think he works for the Sens, too, because I think like prime Jay Bellmeister wasn't an offensive threat. No, but he could move like he could move the puck well enough where it wasn't an issue. Like it wasn't like watching. uh, It's not like watching Nikita Zaitsev move the puck or Ron Hainsey on his offhand move the puck. Like it's not it's not going to kill you. Right. Like it's it's serviceable. And that's why to replace Nikita Zaitsev. They should pick up David Savard. I agree. I I agree wholeheartedly. Either team. Shane Pinto. The God, the the I'll Oilers. Even, I'll even the, take Tyler Boucher off your hand. <laughs> the Oilers will get Joel Edmondson, and the Senators will get David Savard, and we'll make it a three-way trade 